Hey guys, it's Ta. Welcome back. So today we are here to answer the questions that you guys guys have asked me. This is the 700 subscriber giveaway. Um, two winners. So Abby picked two numbers. They're in here. We had a total of 57 questions. I got them all handwritten because the stupid printer would not print. So that's what took me so long. Sorry. Um, this will probably get up hopefully by midnight by the time it processes. So we shall see. Um, so I hand wrote everyone's um, name and question. Uh, some of them I did like a short form because it was just easier. So my hand was really starting to hurt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach into the bag say who has the question ask the question answer the question there are repeats i'm letting you guys know that now um i did not throw theirs out because it's not fair uh everybody has a right to a chance not a right a chance to enter it this way so if it is a repeat question that i've already answered especially more than once i'll say up oh, previously answered but i'm still going to read the question to you guys okay okay so let's get started and i have a blank space right here gonna line the no the papers up as I read the question that way whenever I reveal the two numbers I can count whatever um, comment was that particular one okay all right let's do this so question number one you guys ask some good ones too by the way Eileen Mac what are you what are your favorite things to do for fun um I like to go and just be outside and do things obviously i love to craft too but um favorite thing would be go and watch a baseball game um going have like a girl's day like just fun things with friends i find like the more friends i have the better time it is you know so that and of course going to disney world but I guess, I guess that would be my answer. Just going out and do different things. Um, especially something I've never experienced. Like, that is my favorite thing to do. If it's something new, I'm like, yes, let me try it. Let me try it. So, I guess my favorite fun things to do, new things to find, I guess. I don't know. All right, question two. From CBK Family. My favorite food um mexican pretty much 90 percent of mexican food i will eat pretty much um other than that i would say spaghetti but mexican food yes yes cbk family uh my favorite season i would have to say my favorite season is the fall for two things one it's hot in louisiana almost all the time fall is probably the coolest you're ever going to be um without it being freezing cold because sometimes in winter it does get super cold but not for very long but i don't like really cold temperatures and i don't like to be super super hot so i'm kind of like that easy medium feel uh so i would say fall yeah because um i also like the color scheme of fall I like to see all the oranges, browns, reds, like that stuff. Not dead, but not vibrant green. And I just want to, uh, in advance, apologize if I mispronounce your name. I apologize for that, okay? Say that first. Tracy Ray, you know how you lift your left eyebrow by itself? Can you do your right as well? Oh, crap. <laughs> can I? No? Apparently, I can... Nope. No, I can only do my left. I can't do the right. <laughs> that was a fun one. Um, Mansana's Diary. I hope I said that right. What inspired you to create uh, your YouTube channel? For me, I have a few of those. Um, for me, it's I had a fear pretty much all of my life. 
Um, it really escalated when I was in college of public speaking. Not necessarily like huge public crowd, just any type of speaking to someone I didn't know. It paranoid me like really bad. Um, so I figured if I could talk to myself on the camera and get comfortable with that, then I could eventually get more comfortable outside of looking at myself. And I have. As random as it sounds, I wouldn't even pick up the phone to place an order for food. And I started freaking out every time. drive throughs same thing. And it's like, you know, you can't even see the person, but it would still freak me out. And I have no idea, like, how that happened. It just did. Because in the beginning of my life, I wasn't like that. But then there was like a, a chunk of it that it just started doing that. And now I can easily get on the phone, place orders, do drive throughs anything like that. I am good with it. I'm super comfortable. If you watch my first couple of videos, wow, probably like the first couple of months, it was horrible. But now, I don't care. I just like to be me. If somebody doesn't like me, then it's okay. But I can talk in bigger crowds now. I'm more comfortable with it, as weird as that sounds. Um, Kiki, Kathleen, what type of crafts do you like to make and why? Uh, I don't really have a specific craft I like to make. I always like to find something new just to challenge myself. And Pinterest, obviously, we all use it, but it is the worst because I'll see something. And I'm like, oh, I really like the way that looks. I'd love to make one. But... I really don't have anybody to give it to but now that I'm starting to enter all these challenges I can like the one I'm currently working on like I was, I was kind of skeptical about starting but I did anyway and surprisingly last night I was flipping through it to show the hubby what I had done so far and what I still had to do and he said you know that's really neat and for him to say that it's like okay okay maybe I'm doing something good and I'm not saying like he's the best to judge or whatever but um it's just to have, I guess, to have somebody compliment something that you're not 100% sure of. And it kind of gives you that vote of confidence. Like, oh, maybe it's not that bad. Abby loved it. Can't tell you what it got. Which you can't tell you guys what it is. Because it's for a challenge and I don't want to uh, give it away yet. So, but yeah, just something. I like to always try to find something new to do. I never want to try to repeat the same thing over and over and over and over. You know? And I also do like to make memory decks cards. Those are like my new thing. Because I go cut the cereal box out. Because that's what I use. And I decorate it. It's pretty. Alright. So, Brandy Creighton. I think I said that right. What inspired you to start making videos? And what was it like starting out? So, like I said, I just... Um, for me, it was, like I said, it was the... Fear of public speaking. And... I was nervous, nervous as heck starting out because I'm like, oh my God, I'm not even going to get one subscriber. Nobody's going to like me and all this other stuff. But obviously we're at 700 plus. So somebody likes me. I, I must have really, um, you know, overcame that fear. All right. Bobby M. Favorite movie and TV show. Favorite movie is Mary Poppins without a doubt my entire life don't know why that is one movie I can literally watch every day the original not the Mary Poppins Returns that one's good but the original is my favorite uh, favorite TV show that one's a little bit more tricky because I really don't watch TV TV anymore but well the, the one show that I do still watch and I really enjoy is how to get away with murder I need to catch up on the last season, so don't spoil anything, you guys. I have not watched the last season yet. Um, that is one really good show. And I also do like to like The Big Bang Theory. Even if I've seen it already, I'm going to watch it again. So, I guess. And then I'm also like a Family Guy fan. It doesn't matter what episode of Family Guy it is. I'm probably going to watch it. But to say, like, I used to sit down aimlessly and just, just watch and watch and watch and watch. I don't do that anymore. I just, I kind of, like, I've literally watched maybe one movie this, like, whole week. That's it. 
All right, Mary Christopherson, what is one thing you wish you knew how to do? Draw, um, sing, play an instrument, etc. The one thing that I really would like to learn is piano. I already know how to play the trumpet. I know how, to, I know how music works. I know how sheet music works. I can count. I can do all of that stuff. I, I just think the piano is a beautiful instrument, and I would love to um, learn it. I just never did. But I can play the trumpet. All right, Eileen Mack, are you sanitizing your packages um, store-bought or online with Lysol uh, sprayer wipes? Um, as far as the stuff that's coming in from, like, online, what I do is as soon as I get it, I open up the box and get rid of the um, packaging from like Amazon or wherever I order it from but like the other day I did a video where I did a mail uh, unboxing those packages I just kind of wiped them and as soon as I finished the video I got rid of the packages but um because I, I put them off by themselves and then I went grab them did the video through you know got rid of the packages right away but as far as the store stuff immediately when I get home I'm emptying everything out of bags I always do self checkout so I never have that fear of the cashier having anything to do with it but I understand people do stock it so obviously they touch it um I got in trouble for that today honestly they were like you need to be wiping down your packages like boxes everything and I'm like hmm, I got rid of the bags so that's something I need to work on I guess is making sure that whenever I do go to the grocery store or whatever and purchase something that I do that but I haven't yet I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I'm learning. I'm trying not to catch this crap. <clears throat> All right. Martha Hamilton. The number of states you have been to and did you bargain hunt? I have been to, let's see, Louisiana, Texas, Arkansas, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, and a pass through Kentucky, I think. Yeah, so that's 10, 11 states, and out of those 11 states, as far as bargain hunting for anything, I did in South Carolina, um, not like thrift shops or anything, but I did find this huge area that had nothing but shopping centers, and I went looking for good deals. Um, it was all like new stuff. It wasn't cool thrift stores, but most of the time whenever I went to any of these states i was a lot younger it's been a while since we really traveled other than florida and south carolina since i've had abby we've gone to florida twice south carolina once and obviously we passed through mississippi george alabama and all that but um but no i want to i want to take a day trip and go to Mississippi, because it's right there, y'all. It's like three hours away. I could be there in no time and see what's over there. That's just what I want to do. Me and my friend were talking about that. Taking like a day trip and just see how far we can go and see what deals we can find and come back. <laughs> so maybe after all this crap kind of subsides, we might do that. Um, Bobby M. says, uh, any hobbies besides crafting? I love to read. Like, love, love, love to read. Um... Like the color, I don't do that as much as I used to because I actually have a set of the coloring books. They're all Disney, um, like the adult ones with a huge roll of uh, pencil colors. That was every single day sitting down coloring. But uh, other than that, uh, I guess couponing would be a hobby. And whenever I am able to coupon again, that will be like a full day's full one to two day dependent um breakdown so constantly with the numbers and stuff so yeah that's a really but reading i would say reading i can't tell y'all how many books i read it's, it's it's crazy and now that my kindle's broken it's slowing down the process because the libraries aren't open kind of crap is that right okay all right here's one that i'm probably gonna um mispronounce sorry 
Tapaswini, Tapaswini Car. Uh, I'm just gonna call you TK. When I say TK, because I know you have a couple other questions in there, um, TK means you, because I don't want to totally ruin your name. Uh, favorite TV show? Like I said, How to Get Away with Murder, and I like the cartoons, Family Guy, and stuff like that. I guess my other favorite, which I've, I've yet to finish, so don't ruin this one either, is um, Once Upon a Time. I still have to watch the last season, because I like that one too, because it's Disney-based, obviously. Um... TK, let's do this again. Which emoji do you emoji do you use the most? The crying, laughing emoji and the heart emoji. Those are my top two that I always seem to be using. Because somebody either sends me something I love or it's just so funny. Because I got some funny people that send me text messages. Uh, CBK family, when did you start YouTube? I started YouTube. This November will be three years. But, I didn't post my first video until December 5th. So, I made the channel, and then I second-guessed myself for about a week and a half. And then I finally posted my first video. So, it'll be three years this year, at the, well, at the end of the year. It's a deal. What store that you don't, don't have access to that you wish you had locally? Um, Kroger. I want a Kroger so bad or a Kroger affiliate that would be great too I see all the deals everybody gets at Kroger and I'm so jealous the couponer in me just wants to rage because that buy five save five all that stuff I would love it Janet Nevis Nevis sorry have you gotten cabin fever from having to stay home all the time through this mess yes I have um, and it's weird because I stay home a lot but knowing that I can't go out and do what I want when I want that's the part that is giving me the cabin fever um, so what I did last time I kind of got cabin fever is I went ride around literally just went right around in the car and then one time I got cabin fever and I decided to go check my PO box and I had a package but other than that, I'm trying my best. Like, I don't even hit the gas station by my house that much anymore. Because, like, I used to go to there, like, four or five times a day. I might go, like, once a week, twice a week. Alright. By Sweet Tea and Grace, how many times do you shop a week? Well, pre-corona, uh, um, I would say I'd probably go to a store at least four times a week um and when i grocery shop five because I, I love to go to the different dollar generals and stuff around here and like some days i'll just i'll say you know what today's a dollar general day and i will hit however many day however many stores that i can that day because i just want to find deals so yeah i'd say i'd go out at least four four to five times a week to look around sometimes window shop i would do a lot of window shopping tk app on your phone uh what app on your phone do you wish you used more more um i don't know because i keep having to delete apps because i run out of room so i guess my ibotta app i wish i would use that more because i would get more cash back i guess but i, I forget about it I need to remember. Thanks. Thanks for bringing that point up. Because now I can be like, hey, did you check Ibotta? See if you got any deals. Good job. All right. TK is you again. Spirit animal. I would say my spirit animal is, I always said it was a giraffe. Because, I don't know. They're just awesome. They're like a mix of a, a unicorn and like a horse and they have a super long neck and they're they're beautiful like their spots they're all unique no giraffes have the same type of spots and i just love them and i feel like i'm me nobody else is me you know everybody ha like even if they kind of were like me something's gonna be different about me that's different about them so i guess yeah and if you want to know abby's spirit animal is a freaking sloth 
because she's slow like a sloth. She'll tell you that too. Erin Maycheck, how old is Abby? Abby is currently seven, but in 27 days she will be eight. And she's very disappointed because she probably won't be able to have a birthday party with all this stuff until, like, I'll have to postpone it like months. But we'll give her a small something, you know, but not her big bang. Because we do big bang parties, like huge ones. All right. Uh, TK, what song do you always end up playing during um, long car drives? Um, I don't really have a specific song that I always wind up playing. It's specific artist. And Evanescence is always on the radio if I'm by myself. If I'm with Abby... It's whatever Abby wants. Um, but if I'm doing something like me and the hubby and we're going somewhere and it's like a pretty long drive, um, it's always going to wind up on Evanescence. She's like, she's, she's like my other spirit animal, I guess. I, just, I like all her music. I like her voice. Everything about her. TK, man, here we go. If I could live anywhere, where would it be? <sighs> For the longest, as a family, as a whole, we were all like, hey, let's go to California. I would love to live in California. But, I don't know. California or South Carolina? Because we almost did move to South Carolina. But a very tragic thing happened. Uh, not specifically to us, but to in, within the family. And we wound up not doing it. But yeah, we were going to move to South Carolina. But we didn't. So I would say South Carolina or California. Um, CBK family. My favorite color is pink. And my favorite color combination is pink and lime green. You could probably throw in a hint of black too. Pink and lime green are my, have always been my favorite color combination. Bobby M. Favorite thing to cook or bake? Cooking? Mexican. So, since I was really interrupted because my phone died and I ran out of space at the exact same time, um, favorite thing to cook is Mexican, anything Mexican. Favorite thing to bake is cake. Like, chocolate cake is my favorite. That's probably why I can't lose weight because I like cake. I, I like chocolate cake so much. Alright, CBK family, are you scared of this new virus? Um, I'm concerned. I'm, I'm concerned about it. But I think I'm more scared for, um, like, my grandparents that are still left, which is both of my grandmas. Um, they both have their health problems. And then my dad also has health problems that I just, I don't want anything to happen to them. And then my sister is a nurse, and she is currently still working. Thankfully, she's in the nursery most of the time with the baby, so it's not as much of a risk. But she still has to go in and out of the hospital um, every day, and she has three kids. One is older, two are younger, but I just, it just kind of freaks me out, um, as far as they are concerned, because I am doing everything that I could possibly do to protect our family. Um, Abby has not gone anywhere other than she visited her grandparents a few times, and it was really quick visits, uh, and she went to the gas station once, and that was at the very, very beginning. I just, she has allergies, and for her, a cold is severe because it'll start out as like an allergy attack, and then it turns into something huge, and it takes us a while to get over it, so I think if she would catch it, she would have um, serious issues to get over it um, quicker before, like... Because I know they say, like, it's really bad. Like, it's okay when it first sets in, then it gets really, really bad, and then it relieves. I think for her, that bad part will last longer than um, most kids. So, that's more of my concern. Um, I think I'm okay enough that if I happen to catch it, which I don't want to, believe me, I don't. Um, I think I would be okay. Obviously, I would feel like I was dying, but I think I would make it. I don't really have any underlying health risk. Um, and I'm not that un, um, active, I guess, because I do work out, but with this, I really haven't, honestly, since this whole quarantine, because um, I'm more of a workout in class type. I, have, I do aerobics multiple times a week, but I really haven't done anything, which is horrible. I think I've walked. We walk for an hour. That's it. 
as far as exercise goes. But we are doing Zumba tomorrow. So maybe if we get, you know, moving again, I'd feel a little bit better about it. TK, your favorite inspirational quote. If you can dream it, you can do it. By the famous Walt Disney himself. Because anything's possible if you try. CBK family, favorite place to shop. Um, it's more, not necessarily a play, favorite place. Uh, it's favorite type of shopping, I guess. I really like to shop in stores like Tuesday morning. Where you can find those items you would have gotten elsewhere, but at a different price. You know, a better price. Uh, dirt cheap. Again, you have Target items in there. Uh, I got a Target bench in my dining room. I just put it together today, but I bought it like uh, two months ago. It is a bench for, you put it at your kitchen table, like seating. It was $100. I got it for 4 bucks. So... Thank you, Target, for sending it to Dirt Cheap. Everything was, nothing was wrong with it. Everything was in there. So those types of stores are my favorite to shop. Not necessarily, I don't necessarily have a favorite specific one. It's more like those types. All right. Let's see. Tina's Crafty Life. How long have you been crafting? Tina, I have been crafting since I was 15 years old. I started scrapbooking. And a very failed major attempt at sewing. I am now 33. So 18 years. And I did. In between. I kind of like. I still did things. But not as I have done since. I moved into this house. Um, now that I have my own space and stuff. I started to accumulate more things. To be able to craft. Um, but before it was just like small things. When we lived in our other house before Abby. Pre-Abby, I didn't craft as much. But now, I craft with her. I craft um, to entertain myself while she's at school or whatever. Bobby M., why did you start your YouTube channel? Repeat, you know, uh, like my fear of public speaking. So, I said, I'm going to have repeats. And I'm okay with that. I want everybody to have a fair opportunity to win. Alright. Madison Langley. Advice for 21 year old me. What would it be? Um, I guess it's try not to let people's opinions affect you as much. Because around that age... I was very uh, hard on myself as far as appearance wise with weight and all that stuff and just to as Elsa would say let it go um, you're happier that way okay ran out of memory again I'm gonna have to hustle I'm taking too long uh, Melissa Duggar my biggest fear is snakes and rats that's yeah mm -mm, no no I'm good I'm afraid of them. Uh, Maritza Carrera, what is your favorite season? Favorite season is fall. Kathleen Lively, have you worked outside the home before having Abby? If so, what? Yes, yes I have. I have been working since I was 13 years old. Started at a skating rink and then from there I started going to college. Worked at a movie gallery. Um, if you don't know what that is. Because you wouldn't around then. Uh, it's a place where you went rent movies from an actual store. Kind of like Redbox. But think of it as like a huge store you walked into. Uh, then I worked at Rouse's Supermarket. And then finally I got my degree. I have an associate's degree in accounting. So I did um, some billing at a scaffolding company. For quite a few years. And then when Abby was a couple, couple months after she turned one, I quit working. I felt like it was time to retire. <clears throat> Frugal Mama in the Woods. Favorite color? Pink. Angeli Nanda. Favorite color and hobby? Uh, pink. And I like crafting, reading. Those types of things. I, I do like to fish too. That's probably, I guess, another hobby. But I don't do that one very often. 
Uh, Madison Langley, dreams uh, on my bucket list. A uh, huge one on my bucket list. I want to go to every Disney park there is. Um, that is like the major one. Other than that, can you stop, dog? I can, hey, stop. Sorry, the dog's going crazy. Um, I just like, I just want to travel, I guess would be another one. TK, favorite candle scent to fill your home. I absolutely love sweet pea scent. That's my favorite. CBK family, my favorite movie, Mary Poppins. Angie Long, favorite thing, um, favorite outside the house activity to do. Uh, fishing, shopping. Fishing, shopping. <laughs> That's about it. Um, like to go, I like to go to the library and read and yeah let's just go with that that sounds good maka's home have you ever wrestled an alligator no i have not i have held one and i have eaten them but i've never wrestled one ajca fave cheap um crafting tool I don't know i'm still kind of learning what some of the tools are because when i was scrapbooking i didn't really have a lot of tools that i actually used um I, like i said i started at 15 so my favorite thing then was this different scissors i guess they what is it the pinking shears or whatever my grandma had brought us this set of scissors and they had random shapes when you would cut you'd have like a straight line or you could have zigzags or ripples or anything like that that was like my favorite but um now i guess it really wouldn't be a cheap craft tool but i absolutely love my cutting and scoreboard from we are memory keepers that one's a really fun one and i love my cameo because i use that in crafting as well especially um if i need to cut something very freaking precise that it has to line up with something else. I use that because I suck at cutting stuff um, by hand. I really do. I really do. Hate I suck at drawing too. Um, CBK family. Do you like music? I love music. I have been for as long as I can remember in love with music. Um, I'm, I was in band. And then I worked at the skating rink, and we played music constantly for people to skate to. And my family, when we would have get-togethers or whatever, music was always on. So it was always like a big part of gathering, I guess. Um, even now, to this day, when I'm sitting there crafting, if Abby's not sitting there talking to me or something, I have Alexa on playing whatever station on Pandora. And then... Um, in the car, I have to have music on. Doesn't even matter what it is because I probably know it. Because the hubby tries to, um, he tries to get me because he always says, Okay, close your eyes. He picks a song and he puts it on and he gives me so many seconds to tell him either who the song's by, what the song is, or to start singing the startup lyrics. And I can count on how many times, on one hand, how many times he's gotten me because it's not very often and it really aggravates him and i think it's hilarious uh madison langley why you started youtube repeat but it is um fear of public speaking sorry i had something pop up uh tk my dream destination of travel paris so i can go to disneyland that is my absolute one that I definitely want to go to the most, but obviously all of them. Um, Ronica Barnes, favorite perfume or body spray scent? Uh, forever and always, it has been uh, cucumber melon. No idea why, but I've always loved cucumber melon. Mary Salvato, favorite craft item to make? Um, like I said, I like to find things that are new. 
something to inspire me, um, kind of challenge me, and now memory decks cards. But hey, it might wind up being something else. If I make something new and I'm like, oh my god, I love this, that might be the new thing I like. Who knows? Bobby M., have you always lived in Louisiana? Yes. And sometimes I love it. Sometimes I hate it. Um, it's, it's a huge love-hate relationship. Because sometimes I feel like I don't even belong here. That's weird. Maybe if I would move to northern Louisiana, it might be a little bit better. But um, as far as my whole love-hate. But then I'd probably hate it up there too because it's something I'd miss down south. Who knows? Sandy P, what are you and Abby doing to keep busy while in quarantine type stuff? Um, not that we're quarantining. We're self-doing it, guys. Uh, we, nobody has anything. Uh, we have been basically doing anything fun. Today we focused on... I did a lot of phone chatting today with different people. I talked to my mom for over two hours today. I had a few other people I talked to. Today was more of like a social day for me, I guess. Since I can't go out and really visit anybody. Um, Abby, on the other hand, today she did some Legoing. She's rediscovered her Legos. Um, she did some YouTube watching. Uh, her and her dad played outside today. So every day they've been scheduling so many minutes outside. And they break it up throughout the day so they can enjoy outdoors more. Without coming in smelling like a sweaty pig. Uh, but tomorrow's going to be great for them to go outdoors because it's currently like 50-something degrees now. And I think tomorrow it's not even going to hit 70. So they'll be able to spend more time outside tomorrow. Um, other than that, we have been moving her toy room into her bedroom because the toy room is going to become her uh, art room. Like with her painting and stuff because she enjoys to paint and color and do crafty things. I wonder where she gets that from. Uh... She's going to record in there, uh, read. She has like a, she has two bookshelves full and they're both puking books everywhere. And I've already purged the books. This is just books she hasn't read yet and stuff that she likes to repeat read. Um, so it'll be like a reading nook in there. So that's what we're working on. We have two 18 gallon totes left to go and then we are done. I can get in there and clean. And the only other thing that will be left in there is her guinea pigs. So they will be in her art room. Uh, Donna Wilbur, what has struck you the most um, joy in the crafting world? Um, and I, I only wrote down part of this, but if I remember correctly, you were saying uh, for you it's like streamers and stuff. I guess paper paper i love paper 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 and embellishments that match i like matching sets um so peachy cheap they give you everything in one little package type thing so i did good you guys i have not looked at peachy cheap in like three days that's probably going to change after this video because now i'm reminding myself of it i purposely made myself forget but um paper I can literally just browse scrapbook paper all day long and just buy and buy and buy and buy. And I, I did do that for a while. That's why I'm trying to get rid of the stash, at least half of the stash that I have, so that I can buy some more. Um, Mary S. Dollar Tree or Dollar General? See, now, Mary, that, Mary Savalto, that is a, a very hard question because, let me tell you why. Dollar Tree is amazing because everything is a dollar. But you can also go in there and find awesome stuff that you would normally go to like Walmart. For instance, I have something right here I'm going to show you. This is Dollar Tree, you guys. And this product, we still haven't done them, but it's like you build this skeleton, like this, you build this model right here. These are from Walmart. They are like 10 to $15 depending on which one you get. But I got it for a dollar, so that is an amazing deal to me. But Dollar General, on the other hand, I can go in there and get $30 worth of stuff and literally pay tax. So, I could find amazing deals there, too. And then penny items, hello. So, that one is a tough one. But if I ha literally had to live without one of them, I would probably live without the Dollar Tree. Because Dollar General does sell a lot of stuff Dollar Tree sells. And I could possibly do coupons and get overage and get stuff for free. So, I guess I would go with Dollar General. 
because it'll be a win win win. All right, so Aaron Mayer check if I wrote that correctly. Um, how long have I been married? I have been married October made 10 years. Um, October 2019 made 10 years, so a long time. And I just I want to strangle him sometimes. Sabrina. Five minute shopping spree. Where would you go and what's the first thing item what's the first item you'd get? That one. Oh girl, girl, girl. Hmm. First what store would I go to? Mmm. So is it a five minute shopping spree unlimited? That would be that'd be the question. If it is, I'm going to the Disney store. And I am going to get me all of the um i'm gonna get all the mary poppins stuff girl you know i love mary poppins i've been trying to collect everything i have one more um funko pop to get for the new movie and i'm trying to find the funko pops from the original mary poppins but i've not found them yet um i'm not even sure if they made them so if anybody knows let me know uh and i really want the umbrella and i want the carpet bag so that's where I would go, the Disney store. Disney store and see what I can find, Mary Poppins. Because, y'all, I'm obsessed. I have, like, I have one tattoo on my hand. I have her face. I have Mary Poppins on my leg, like her portrait. And I really want to get the practically perfect in every way, but I don't know where I want it yet. So, Rhonda Owen, where in the U.S. would I move? That would be either California or South Carolina. And the reason we said South Carolina because whenever we went it was like amazing temperatures um the scenery was gorgeous where we were uh everything about it was just nice the nicest people you could find and i know they're they always say southerns are nicer but there's places here in louisiana that i really don't like to go because they are not as nice seriously um cbk family my goal on youtube my goal is to continue to be creative and meet new people I don't really care about the numbers. It's not a numbers game for me. It's having access to different types of people with different aspects um, that live in different areas and uh, just, just to build that relationship, even though it's long distance, just to have that somebody else. Hey, that might be your freaking dangle gopper. Uh, what is it? Dangle hopper? No. What is it whenever the person looks like you, but they're not you? It's not a twin. Shoot. I can't think of the word anyway. But it's just to be able to be heard. Um, meet friends. Listen to their problems and enjoy watching their content. Like, things like that. I'm not, like I said, I'm not looking. It's I don't have, like, an end goal. Like, some people do. Ooh, I want to get 100000 or whatever. I don't care. It's not about that for me. It's making relationships with people that say, and say I'm on YouTube for 20 years. When 20 years, I can probably have visited all these people after quarantine, after quarantine, guys. Um, you know, just just to have those connections with people that you wouldn't normally meet because you're here in your state, in your city, town, whatever. And typically, you're not going to meet people from all around. But on here, you can meet anyone from anywhere. And it's amazing. I have a, an amazing group of people that I am in constant contact with via um, chats and stuff. And it's awesome. And to communicate with you guys through comments and just to give you that little peek inside of our day and see your peaks. It, it's just great. I love it. Aaron Maycheck, married. Yes, 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 yes. And the last question, you guys. We made it through all 57. So, 57. Here we go. TK. Quite, what is quite possibly the most annoying thing ever? Oh, my God. I was waiting to get to this question because when I was writing it, I'm like, I already know. For me, the most annoying thing is a sound. And the sound that is so annoying whenever I can hear people chewing and not because they are chomp 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 chewing like that it's just just hearing their jaw in the food and you can hear that little smack sound you know what I'm talking about 
That is the most annoying sound to me for some reason. Like, it actually happened today with my husband. We were sitting there. He was eating. And it's, it's, it's also, too, the types of food people are eating that make that annoying sound more than anything else. And he happened to be eating one of the most annoying, the foods that makes the most annoying sound. And that would be peanut butter and he did it on a tortilla and I could just hear it and I was I literally said I will be back in a minute because I was crafting at the time but I said oh I need a break and I just walked out um but that sound right there drives me freaking insane I do not want to hear your jaw flexing like hear the click of your jaw and the crunch of your food or like the squish in that case that is the most annoying sound to me. Like, I'd rather hear chalkboard nails than hear, ah, ah, I can, ooh, mm. Okay, enough of that. But yeah, that is my most annoying thing that I, like, nah, 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 nah. I can deal with a lot of sounds, not that. So, that is all of our questions, you guys. You did amazing on asking them, and I hope I answered them all. And hopefully you guys are not bored at this point. Um, if there's something else that maybe you want me to elaborate on that I answered part of it, whatever, let me know. I will definitely do that. But now it is time to see who our two winners are. I will choose you guys, and then I want you to email me at the email address down below your PayPal um, information, or you can send me the actual link if you want. Do the share um Copy your link and give it to me. That way I can click it and it brings me right where I need to go. So I can PayPal you guys your $10 prize. Because there's two of you guys who are going to win. So, um, also, I will not, will not put the money into your PayPal for like two days. The reason I'm saying that is because last time that I did a digital thing online like this, it was a gift card. Um, somebody tried scamming the winner. They sent me an email and they were like, hey, this is me. I won your giveaway, blah, 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 blah. But uh, it was an Amazon gift card. That's what it was. They tried to scam me, but I caught on to it because it just didn't look right. And then I happened to watch a video of another lady it happened to. And I was so glad I waited. So you guys, I will not do it immediately. Just know that within the next 48 hours, you will have $10 from me into your PayPal account. It will not be in the next five minutes. Um, so 48 hours after you email me, approximately-ish, and I can verify that it completely is you and you are not being scammed and I'm not being scammed, I will send you your prize. So if it's not there immediately, do not freak because I will not send it immediately. I do not want that to happen to either one of us. So, are you guys ready to see what numbers Abby picked? I am. All right, our first number is 37. So let's count these and see who is number 37. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Madison Langley. Madison, you have won the first prize. Let me go ahead and grab your question and paper. And that would be the dreams on the bucket list. Um, so go ahead and email me at the email address down below. Your PayPal information. If you don't have PayPal and you have Venmo, I can do Venmo as well. Or if you want, I could just stick the money in an envelope and send it to you, like in a card. Completely up to you. But obviously if I do it digitally you'll get it quicker all right so are you guys ready for the next number that number is 11 let's see who number 11 is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven martha miss martha i know that is a horrible glare but miss martha you have one with your question of the number of states i have been to and did i go bargain hunting so, Miss Martha, you have one. So, let me know how you would like yours. Um, I can, like I said, I can easily mail you a card with it. Or if 
you have PayPal or Venmo, or if Mary has it, I can send it to Mary, and Mary can give it to you. Totally up to you, Miss Martha, so just let me know, please. I would like to thank each and every one of you that have sent in questions. This was super fun. Um, it's been a really long time since I did any type of answering questions, uh, other than like a tag here or there. And I just want you all to know, I appreciate each one of you. Um... And I hope we continue to bond as a community here on Todd's Halls and Things. Uh, I, I love to see whenever comments start, somebody puts a comment and people kind of comment on the comment, see like a conversation going on amongst you guys. Because sometimes you might not even really know this person other than you saw their comment. And I think that is great. It's a way to kind of bring us all together and, you know, be that. So... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you guys. We are, I think when I looked before we did this video, we we're at 713, which is amazing. I honestly did not think I would get to this point. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are responsible for that. Also, in the next couple days, you'll see a whole bunch of videos popping up. Um, it might notify you guys. It might not. I don't know. I actually got a strike on my channel um, a while back, like last month or something I had a link to um, something in my description box and it, they flagged it well whenever they flagged it I thought they removed all of them but they only removed the one on the video that they flagged so when they came back for the second one they struck me because I had not removed all of them because I thought they did but anyway besides the point those are all kind of quarantined, I guess. I got them all set to private right now because I'm slowly going in and erasing the uh, link. It was for Swagbucks, if you wanted to know. That way, I can get that off of there because FYI, Swagbucks is not allowed. Do not put a Swagbucks link in your descriptions because you will get um, either a warning or a strike. Don't do like I did. So those videos will be, there's like 200 of them, you guys. Like, Because I normally just use the same description as far as like my links and stuff. So yeah, I have to go and fix all of that. So don't do what I did. And um, I'm going to be releasing those here soon. I did a little bit at a time. But now I have nothing else to do. So I'm just going to get them all done. Uh, yeah. So I will let you guys go with that because this, this video is probably almost an hour freaking long. And, yeah. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye.